Welcome everyone, my name is Kirk Masters. I'm an account manager here at Infusionsoft. I am going to show you today why it's so important to have a map or a marketing automation plan before you start anything in Infusionsoft. Uh, a map is something that we use quite a bit here at the company now because what we found is a lot of our clients, they get Infusionsoft, which is an all-in-one solution, and they ask themselves, well, okay, what do I do first? And what we want to show, or what I want to show today rather, is what you're going to do to be able to plan out your marketing, your sales process, basically anything you want to do inside Infusionsoft. So I use a product called Bubble.us. It's free, very easy to learn, not difficult whatsoever. And I want to show you basically some of the things that you're going to be able to do now, which will help you prepare for those marketing campaigns or follow-up sequences or whatever you're trying to accomplish in Infusionsoft. First thing you want to kind of understand when you're building this out, when you're looking at that perfect customer lifecycle, which is the knowledge of what's going to happen when somebody goes into your funnel in the front end and on the back end when they're referring clients to you because they're such a satisfied customer. The first thing we want to look at is how are people opting into your marketing? What is it? A web form? A chat box? A contact us now form? There should be at least three main ways people are opting into your marketing on your site if you're, if you're site intensive. The opt-in form for that free report or that offering or some sort of great knowledge they can choose to use or is it a contact us now form that's you know synonymous with most businesses now they have on their website and or could it be a chat box that you're getting people to opt in because you want their information whatever it is you need to identify where those people came from so on my web form I might say you know here's my free report and you're going to also identify what the lead source is and specifically what do you want to have happen when somebody opts into that marketing now the same goes if you're not using web forms or your website to draw a lot of your leads in if you're at a convention or you get a referral you still need to have a way to identify where those people are coming what's your lead source so when somebody gets their information to you you need to have a process of what's the initial marketing message that needs to go out now a marketing message sounds more complicated than it is what I want is a specific message that would take what I say naturally on the phone or in person and put that into an email but I need to be able to ask questions so let's say I'm gonna follow up with somebody as a salesperson obviously more than one time but each time I need to go through an educational process telling them why they need us or what they're doing so if we look at that in a campaign or a follow-up sequence rather I have seven emails that I know I'm going to create to go out now that's a typical autoresponder the difference here though is that each email will ask the person a question. Thanks for getting my free report. By the way, click here so you can see the full report or click here if you want the report. In this email, this first one, I have a call of action. That's an automation link inside Infusionsoft. We call it Tripwire Marketing. I'm going to get you to click on something so that I can track what you're doing. So this first email might have the free report link so I can get that free report that I opted into over here on my web form. Most people will ignore your first email. Hey, so great you wanted my free report. Click here to get it. They didn't do it. Now email two needs to go out two or three days later, just like an autoresponder. Hey, I didn't see that you clicked on my link to get my free report. Make sure you look at chapters one and two in the free report as they will help you with your problem. Email two gets ignored. Four days later, email three goes out. Hey, I've sent you a couple of emails. I know you're busy, but I want to make sure <coughs> excuse me, that we can get you the free report. So specifically, now they haven't clicked on it three times. But the idea is that they get sick of hearing you, asking them, and they know they need to read this thing. So finally, they take your call of action. They click on the link. When they click on the link, we've got to make sure that they stop any other marketing. So four, five, six, seven, all stop. And specifically then, we need to put a tag or an identifier identifying what they've done so we can look later on in the database and see who are all the people who opted in and then who are all the people who actually clicked on my link then we need to stop emails four through seven we can also send a notification out to the salespeople so once <coughs> once they've done this what next what would you naturally do as a salesperson or a CEO or whatever capacity you're in what would you do next in the conversation They've now done what you asked them to do. That's a buying signal, by the way. Now what? Well, think about your conversations you would naturally have. The first thing that would happen is you would start a new educational piece of marketing 
which is, hey, I'm so glad that you read my free report. There's some things that I want to tell you more about that have been very helpful for my clients. Click here to see a testimonial of, of Johnny Customer that was able to do one, two, and three in A, B, and C after they had my product or after they read my book or after they had a consultation with me. So email one goes out and email two. Now remember, these don't all have to be emails. The point of the map is to be able to identify where the touch points are. This could very well, instead of an email, be a task to call somebody. It could very well be an automated trigger to stop something. So if they take your call of action, and let's say, for instance, on this diagram, we're registering for an event. So now the call to action here in the second piece is click here to register. Once they've registered, great, they're going to attend. And now we throw them into a marketing campaign that says, here's what you're going to expect when you're going to be attending. Maybe if you're selling something, you do an upsell here. But you need to identify where that happens. Do they go to the shopping cart? And once they've purchased, do they, you get a confirmation and they fall into a long-term campaign. So a map is just that. If you need, if you can draw out the specifics of from A to Z, here is A, the customer opts in. They progress through a life cycle. They're getting walked down, if you will, handheld down this path to where you're going to get something out of them, whether it's an action, a phone call, a purchase. And we want to end up giving them into getting them into a long-term follow-up sequence, whether that's a new customer sequence or a long-term hope I don't lose contact with you sequence but I hope I can I can you know give you the, the 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 importance of what a map can do because before you even jump into Infusionsoft or your marketing in general you've got to make a plan and literally it's 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 three steps how are people opting in what are the decisions that I'm going to give them based on the marketing I'm dropping them into and what's the end result well, the end result should be either a phone call to you doing a consultation, a product being purchased, an event being registered. But the point is that a lot of clients with Infusionsoft get confused. It's Confusionsoft for the first little while because, well, do I create the email first? Do I do the actions first? Well, I got to have a plan first. What do I do? Make a map. Sit down, make a map, do it on a cocktail napkin. You can use bubble.us. Whatever you do, just make a plan. And once you make the plan, realize and see where the problems are. Here's a problem for instance. If someone's in this first campaign and I have actions to click on something to make other actions start or stop, what happens if they do nothing? You can see down here I have a long-term follow-up campaign. They get automatically dropped into that follow-up campaign, the value information campaign, and it scoots all the way over here. By default it gets turned on. It can also be turned on by default when somebody has purchased something. So Know that for every action, an if-then scenario, if they do this, then they do that. For every action, there needs to be a reaction. And that's the difference from where you started with, where you're using you know, uh, uh, email autoresponders, where they went for seven sessions or three sessions, and you called it good. This is much different. You have to plan out what you're going to do to be successful. The map will save you time. Not only that, it'll make you smarter, better looking, and people will just think you're awesome. So that's my two cents. I'm Kirk Masters. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching my video. If you have questions, certainly give us a call at 866-800-0004. Uh, you can uh, ask for your account manager and you'll be transferred to one of us. Have a great day. Thanks for using Infusionsoft. Take care.